Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Feed the Beasts Stone Block 3 with another tutorial Let's Play video. If you've been following along, last episode you know we took care of the initial starter quests. That was the rock and stone to get some pebbles, the crafting table, make a crafting table, the chest, make a stone chest, the hammer down, make a stone hammer. We use that hammer to get us gravel, dirt, sand and dust wololo to make a crook we use that crook to get some seeds and some saplings and then with the saplings we we're able to get ourselves some wood now that's all well and good i've been looking forward into this pack and i think we're gonna have to start jumping around a little bit we've got a couple of different options on which way we can go upwards we can go into the smelting area but to do that we're going to need clay to get clay we're going to need water looking at the water path the easiest way that i can find is to use a cauldron to make a cauldron, we're going to need some iron. That means we're going to have to go down to the sieve's path. To make a sieve, we're going to need some andesite. To get andesite, we're going to go back down here, explore our world a little bit, do a little bit of mining. But before we start mining, I think our first step is to make ourselves a proper tinker's pick. I got lucky. One of the first random rewards I received was a lapis paxel. That's given me a little bit of an advantage here at the start. But for a regular playthrough, you're probably going to want to start with a tinker's pick. But before we get started, now would be a great time to click on that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time I post a new video to my channel. Also, if you're enjoying this content and you want to support, click on the join button down below, check out the perks I got available for my community members. Alternately, you can check out my Patreon page, there's a link down below in the description. But enough about that, let's get back to the video. So, like I said, our first task is to get ourselves a Tinker's Pickaxe. Now, to make a Tinker's Pickaxe, we're going to need a couple of things. First off, we're going to need some patterns. To make a pattern, it is two planks in a crafting table with two sticks. That gets us three patterns each. If we put two of those patterns in a crafting table with two planks, that gets us a part builder. There you go, that's part one of the task complete. Next up is the Tinker Station. To make a Tinker Station, it is four planks in a crafting table with three patterns. So that's perfect. What we're going to do is open up our quest book, Tinker's Tools, Quest, Random Reward, Laser Wrench. Well, I can tell you right away that Laser Wrench is going into our maybe in the future chest, maybe not ever chest. That's uh, above and beyond anything that we're at right now. Let's go and set up our part builder and our tinker station. We're going to go throw those there, our tinker station there. And actually what I should do is go throw that crafting station right here in the corner. That is because tinker's tools are really cool and they kind of link up when you put them next to each other. So rather than exiting out, moving over to the next station, opening it up again, you can actually flip through the tabs up top, which makes it super easy to kind of go through all of this stuff. Though to make any Tinker's Tools, we're going to need a couple of resources. Right now, I'm pretty much limited to wood and stone. Eventually, I'm going to be able to upgrade these to much, much better parts. So in the Tinker Station, like I said, we're going to want to make ourselves a pickaxe. Now, a Tinker's pickaxe is going to require a pickaxe head, a tool binding, and a tool handle. So what we want to do is we want to flip to the part builder. Actually, before we do anything, I'm going to need at least one more pattern. And you know what, let's make a couple of these just because they're going to be so important. There we go. So back in the part builder, we're going to put the pattern up into our little pattern spot. And then we're going to go click on the pickaxe head. We're going to make our material. Let's make our pickaxe material out of stone. That gives us the stone bound feature on our pickaxe. Your tool absolutely loves stone. The tool mines faster as it wears out, but it does less damage. So that's going to be absolutely perfect for a pick. Next up, let's make ourselves a wood tool handle. That gives us the cultivated feature. Tool practically grows more material when repairing. And then we're left with the binding. And I'm not too sure it's cultivated on that one. And stone bounce. We're not going to get any difference out of either of those. So for the sake of argument, let's just go make that one out of stone. We're going to flip over to the tinker station. We're going to click on our pickaxe there. And then we're going to go put our binding in, our handle, and then our pickaxe head. That gets us our very, very first Tinker's Tool. Now this tool is going to run out fairly quickly. It's only got a durability of 130. I can keep running back and forth and repairing it here at a Tinker Station. Or we can go over to our part builder, click on our repair kit, and we can actually make some mobile repair kits 
just using the resources we've got on hand. So five will be pretty good. It's, it'll get us a little ways into this world, I think. I'm not 100% sure how far away up and down that andesite is. What we're going to do is we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure and we're going to kind of see where we end up. So let's move in this direction. I'm actually going to go move in one and we're going to go start mining up. Oh, okay. Loopy is spawned at X minus 12. Okay. I don't know what this is. is. I did see what I was setting up. B sort of outlined really close. Minus 12, 16, minus 10. So 16. Oh, oh, there it is right there. There it is right there. You can see the outline. I don't know what a loot B is and how it's spawning. One spawned like right outside of my room and I ignored it because I didn't know what it was and I figured we'd get to it when we got to it. But I guess we're getting to it right now. So I don't know if we got to kill it though. All right, let's go switch to our Paxel just because we're in a rush. Oh, all right. So we picked up iron ingot, two chance cubes, a chicken's egg, crystal chest, emerald, and a mystic white flower. Okay, so I wasn't expecting that. That wasn't going to be part of the plan, but you know what? I will take that. I think that is actually really, really cool. It's a shame they didn't give us uh, the seven iron ingots that we need, though. Also, my pickaxe broke, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw that into the crafting table. We're going to add one of those stone repair kits, and there we go. We've got a repaired stone pickaxe, which is perfect. Oh, here we go. Look at andesite. There it is right there, which is perfect. And quest complete. We've got ourselves some andesite. That's awesome. Now, I got a feeling we're going to need a fair bit of it. So we're going to do something a little risky here. I'm going to repair this stone pickaxe. And then we're just going to go vein mine this. Oh, boy. Yeah, that, now that I think about it, this is going to leave a lot of dark spots. So let's go, actually, F7. Ooh, do we not? Oh, okay, good. We do have the light levels mod, which is perfect. Uh, but light is doing really, really good. That's, you know what, because it's 1.18, light levels are actually a lot easier to maintain than they used to be. So one torch goes a long ways of uh, lighting up a room now. All right, so there you go. That should finish off this episode. We got ourselves the Andesite, which was a no rewards quest, which I guess was just a mining quest anyways. We're going to use that Andesite to make some create stuff. We're going to use the create stuff to get ourselves some iron. We're going to use the iron to make ourselves a cauldron. We use the cauldron to make ourselves some water. We're going to use the water to make ourselves some clay. Then we go finish off the smeltery and we can kind of move on to some of these other uh, quests here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys found it useful. Keep an eye out. I'll be back with some more tutorials, but I'll see you guys next time. Good.